Jesus, mother fucking Christ. So I want you guys to take a wild guess where I am on my trip to Doomsday, Florida. Uh, do you think, that, oh, it is a now Monday afternoon, October 28th, 2024, somewhere around there. Where do you think I am? Well, I, I'm well, where I am, I am in the single worst traffic jam. I, I know I'm in the worst traffic jam in the United States of America. And I'm quite possibly in the worst traffic jam on planet Earth. We are at a complete fucking standstill. I'm kicking myself for not getting off at this exit. I had a chance, uh, and I had a chance to do it. The fucking robot, we were, we were moving about a thousand feet. Uh, a, a hell of a lot of people are getting off. I had a chance to uh, get out of this, and the robot was saying, don't do it, just stick with the fucking traffic jam. And I went 500 feet past the exit, uh, and, and we are a parking lot. I am on, uh, where the fuck, is Interstate 79 South in Whitehall, West Virginia. Uh, the single biggest traffic jam uh, possibly on the planet. I am very jealous of all of these people who got off the fucking ramp and, and, and said, fuck this noise. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's always whenever th this is, th this is, I'm trying to think, I guess the last time I was in a traffic jam anywhere approaching this would have been when I was driving into Austin, Texas the last time in January of 23. In January of 23. 23 uh, I was the last time uh, I, I was in a traffic jam anywhere approaching the traffic jam in Whitehall West Virginia uh, this is so far that this has been 11 miles of this and I have got to decide whether I'm getting off at the next fucking exit or not. The robot is telling me to keep with it. But after what I went through last night, uh, I don't know how many people... All, all I'm going to say about last night, I, I am taking my full share of the responsibility. So last night... You know, I was meeting up with this friend of mine. Well, where I was was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, unbelievably hambone going to goddamn. So I uh, me meeting up with this Doomer chick. N n not the Doomer chick you're thinking of in Pittsburgh, but another Doomer chick. Uh, so where I got off the freeway. I was less than three minutes from her house. So when I got off the freeway, understand I was less than three minutes from this woman's house. How long do you think it took me to get from getting off the freeway, being three minutes away from her house, to actually being in her house? If your guess was one hour and 15 minutes one hour and 15 minutes i drove uh, around and around and around and here's the reason as i say i am certainly taking my uh percent of thing i had no idea how to get the motherfucking uh keyboard to come up on my Android smartphone 
which I have owned for three years. And the robot I could not understand anything I was trying to say. I, 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 I was three, three minutes, it was four turns. Here is what I needed this woman. She, I, I guess she's lived. Darling, how long have you lived in this condo? I can't remember, a little over a year. I thought it was four years, but I guess a little over a year. Here's what she had to say. Is Hambone, get off, and I'm not using real names, this is what I needed to hear. Hambone, get off at exit 100. The exit dead ends. When you get to the light, take a left. Go one half, take a left onto Sancho Panza Avenue. Go one half a mile, take a left on Hambone Street. Go one block, take a left on Doomer Avenue. Go a half mile and take a right on We Are So Fuck Street. That was it. Get off at the exit, take a left, take a left, take a left, take a right. She had no more idea how, after living somewhere uh, for at least one year, uh, don't believe it. We are through. I am very glad I did not get off at that exit, by the way. Uh, that's why I drove around for an hour and fifty. So what finally happened after driving around within a uh, one mile radius of her house. So what, what I finally did is I passed this big grocery store and, and so I'm on the phone with her and, and I said, darling, do you know uh, this grocery store? And she said, yeah. I, I said, D -d just meet me at the goddamn grocery store and I will follow you home and uh, she comes to get me and we're less than three minutes uh, from her house and she could not tell me how, how to drive from that grocery store to her house. Couldn't do it. She had no more ability to tell me that than I had the ability to go on and, and get the goddamn uh, uh, touch screen. So this morning you know, so I'm heading to my next destination. So I, I pick up the my Android phone, which I've had for three years. So this one, we'll call her uh, Betty Boop. Betty Boop has an iPhone. Uh, she has an iPhone. She has never used an Android phone. So uh, she had no more idea how to get that keyboard up than I did. So we pick up, we, we, op we turn on my phone, and she's telling me, try this, this, and this. I was less than 90 seconds. In less than 90 seconds, she had the keyboard called up on my Android phone when she'd never had an Android phone in her hand. The, the, the same person who could not give me directions uh, four turns in, in, a, in, in about a mile uh, and we typed in like you, you know her address and there it was in 90 seconds. So as I say I have no room to talk uh, about anybody else. But, uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus, we're all so fucked that I am back on the road again. We are through the traffic jam from hell, and I'm on my way to Kentucky. Oh, God. We will see what adventure awaits me next.
I'm sure some catastrophe but but I have uh, I have my destination typed into my robot and my little robot is taking me to Kentucky I am in the middle of West Virginia I'm in downtown Appalachia uh, all right, but we are southbound. My guys, 